Did you just wake up? Hmm? Is it a cold, snowy day out? Do you know where you are? Do you know what day it is? Ah, uh, don't you just love this face? Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and as you can see, we are in a little bit of a change of scenery. So if you are new to my channel, I tend to do a lot of education-based tutorials as far as makeup goes. So I have very hooded eyes, and I try to share as much information with you guys as possible when I apply my makeup. However, the same kind of video tends to get boring and mundane, and while I know a lot of you are here for those videos, I want to kind of keep my content fresh, change up the scenery, and just keep things interesting. It gets kind of boring for the content creator as well, doing the same thing over and over again. So today I thought we would change things up and do a non-makeup related favorites in natural light. So I'm sitting in my living room where I often film my get ready with me in natural light videos. I have three giant windows in front of me and that's it so you guys can kind of when I film those videos see what makeup actually looks like when we are filming in our makeup studios with all the lighting makeup tends to look a little more flattering than it does in real life so I like to do those videos every once in a while as well if you are new here make sure to subscribe so you can see those videos but today I just wanted to change it up and do some non makeup related favorites so if you are here for the makeup tutorials feel free to skip over this video scroll through my channel I have hundreds of makeup tutorials makeup reviews and all that good stuff but if you do want to see a little bit of a change of pace and see some of my favorites that I've been loving for months and even years go ahead and keep watching all right so I'm not gonna do this in any particular order and I am going to try my best to not talk your ear off so I'm gonna try to give you like a less than a minute kind of high-level review on all these things and the first thing I'm gonna start with are these shearling slippers from Costco you guys I got these for $19.99 and they are amazing they are so warm and so cozy so obviously they look exactly like the Ugg slippers I've had so many of those Ugg slippers in the past and they always end up just going in the trash after a couple years because they get trashed you wear them a lot you wear them in so these at $19.99 you will not feel bad about getting because they are warmer than the Uggs they are softer than the Uggs and they are just amazing I love them. I love them for just kind of running out into my back deck because they have the hard sole on it and then running back in. I'm not going to like wear these outside as like style, but as far as slippers for $19.99 from Costco, you cannot go wrong with this. Unfortunately, they only had the gray, at least when I got them. Maybe they'll like come out with some other colors, but these are absolutely amazing. So check out your local Costco for these slippers because I am obsessed with them. I'm going to be living in them all winter long. All right, so you guys are gonna see a theme here. Everything is very cozy because tis the season. I'm literally looking at it downpouring snow outside my window right now. So I have this pajama set from Victoria's Secret. So this is the top. It's just a classic kind of satin button up top as well as the pants. They have a little, I think it's baby pink. If not baby pink, it's like a cream white stripe going up the side and on the bottom. And this is just the coziest pajama set in the world it's so warm it's not like silky soft like it's thicker like silk to me tends to be a little more glidey a little more lightweight this is a little more heavy duty but it's still super cozy and soft and I love them I've been wearing them every night and there's something about fall and Christmas time that just makes me want to wear a pajama set I don't know what it is like in the summer I'm fine just wearing a random pair of shorts and a random shirt but in the winter I want a pajama set and Victoria's Secret I have always loved they fit me really well I have like a curvier bum and curvier thigh area and the size small fits me perfectly I couldn't ask for a better fit in fact they fit me lengthwise and they fit me in the waist and the thigh area and they're comfortable to sleep in all night long if anything they might get a little bit warm if you run hot I run really cold so I I've been loving these and I think you will as well. This pair has Victoria's Secret written all across it. You probably can't see it on camera. So heads up on that, but they have a million different styles and I highly recommend them if you're in the market for an affordable pajama set. All right, brace yourself for the next several items here because I have just been riding the animal print train for the last like few months here. I am all about it. So I have a lot of animal print stuff, but 
I wanted to tell you guys when I buy trends, like my clothing style is very neutral, right? Like I'm often in black, gray, white, really neutral colors and then I like to add kind of a pop of trend with whatever's going on but I don't want to break the bank when I do that because a lot of this stuff might go out of style in like who knows a year a few months so I try to pop in pieces from like Zara, H&M, Nordstrom like the, an affordable Nordstrom item something like that so I'm not breaking the bank if it's gonna go out of style now trust me when I like something I don't really care in like three years if it's gone out of style I'm gonna probably still wear it but just a little tip don't break the bank on trends so first thing I have here is this skirt from Express now obviously it's way too cold to wear this alone I'd have to layer this up with some tights and some high boots but this is like a silk ish Obviously, I have a theme going on with silk and satin right now, but it's like a silkish little skirt. I got a size small. I should have gotten an extra small because it's a bit big in the waist, but I just think this is the cutest skirt, and you could pair it in so many ways with a brown top, a white top, a black top. It's very, very versatile, but still kind of gives you that pop of color. So I've been loving this and wearing it as much as possible before it gets way too cold. So I just love pieces that you can kind of dress up or dress down, but still kind of have that trendy fun cute look going on I could even wear this to work if I wanted to with like a nice pair of flats or heels and a nice sweater like what I have on right now I just love that and then on the weekend if I wanted to I could pair it with like some platform tennis shoes or something like that and just dress it down so really like this this also comes in a, like some plain colors like black and I think there was a burgundy and maybe even a yellow so check this out again it definitely runs big I'm usually a small I'm a size two to four in pants and the size small is definitely too big in the waist for me but it's not too big where I won't wear it obviously I just wish it was a little more snug all right one more item from Express and again it's leopard print is this belt I got a size small this was $40 but I know I didn't buy it for $40 it doesn't feel like a $40 belt it does feel a lot cheaper but I love it I pop this on with my trousers for work like an all-black outfit and it just elevates everything and makes you look a little more stylish which is exactly why I buy pieces like this and it helps if your pants are a little too big obviously so I think this is super fun you can even pair it with jeans I did that all summer long it's just a really cute way if you're kind of dabbling into a trend and you don't want to go like full-blown skirt like I had or something like that to just add something in and I really like the pony hair aspect of it so I got a size small again it fits really well there's George he's in his little Christmas sweater I'll show him a little in a little bit but really fun way to add a pop of a like trend and a pop of style into your wardrobe so you guys saw me haul these a while back these are the Athleta leopard print legging in black and they are my go to leggings now I know how I had mentioned in that video I was a Lululemon girl but now I'm a Lululemon Athleta girl because these are so comfortable they're so lightweight it's like you're you don't even have pants on it's like a second skin they're high-waisted they make you feel super like sucked in and comfortable I'm a size small these fit me perfectly and I have not put them down since I got them so highly recommend these if you can get them on sale get them on sale for sure this might be one of those items that like down the line goes on sale because again trendy but I love them I'm definitely going back to Athleta for more pants because these are amazing talk about like the best airport outfit in the world I wore these on my last trip to the airport and home from the airport and I was so comfortable one more animal print clothing item and then we'll move into the animal print shoes I know I'm excessive with this I've just been loving it so bear with me so I have this cardigan this tiger print cardigan we're changing up the prints a little bit here from H&M it's very very oversized it's got drop sleeves and it's one of the most cozy sweaters I've ever worn I want to live in it anytime I have an all black outfit on I've been popping this on and again you just look a little more stylish a little more put together like you tried harder but you really didn't you just threw a really cozy comfy cardigan on I'm that person in the winter who wants to be comfortable and warm I'm not going to be walking around in like a little skirt and some like see-through tights because no that's too cold for me I run very cold so things like this with like all black layering pieces are just my jam and I really like the tiger print on it I think it's super cute 
I got a size small because it was the only one left in store like in Chicago. I wouldn't pull the trigger on this to order it. I don't know why. I just kept having it in my cart, never pressed by. And then they all sold out like within a day. So I had to go to the store and they only had a small. So I bought it. I wish I got an extra small because it is very oversized, but that's okay. I don't mind the oversized look, especially with something so comfortable. So again, check out your local like H&M's, your Zara's, anything like that for trendy items. That is really, really good quality as well for like 34 bucks. Can't go wrong. All right. So I have these mules from from Madewell. These were like 80 bucks or something like that and I am so happy I got these. I've been wearing these when I have meetings all the time. They are so cozy, so comfy. I have stubby extremities. You can see my hands, my feet are the exact same and these fit me so well. I never went through a period with these where they were like too tight, uncomfortable. They were comfortable from the moment I put them on. The sales rep was even like, make sure you kind of break them in at home. I didn't even have to do that. They were comfy from day one. I'm a size six and a half, but I went up a full size on this to a seven and a half since it is a mule and it goes to a really, you know, kind of small point. I really enjoy these. I know Nordstrom had a similar pair, I think, in like a giraffe print or something like that, but I really like the leopard, and again, it just kind of elevates any kind of look you have. You can wear them with jeans, trousers, skirts, anything, and they are so cozy and so cute. So check out Madewell because they're pretty affordable, but also really good quality. So I have been wearing these nonstop. Now, obviously, it's starting to snow out, so I'm not going to be able to do that, but for the fall and like springtime, those are go-tos. We have made it, we are here, we are at the final animal print item and it is these Steve Madden boots that are so adorable. They have a little bit of like a metal stud going up the side to kind of give it a little bit of spice, you know what I mean? But I think these are so cute and again, if you have a very neutral clothing kind of palette like I do, these will just add a pop and they are gorgeous and the heel isn't too high so they're very very comfortable to wear anything like this I would pair with a very kind of neutral outfit you know what I mean all black jeans black top jeans white top anything like that I wouldn't wear anything too rowdy because these are going to be the statement piece in that item and I absolutely love them again I got these in the Nordstrom sale can't remember when that was that was a few months back so I got them at a discounted price but they were under a hundred dollars and amazing and there are tons of brands that dupe things like that so definitely check those out snake print for me was kind of like ooh, can I pull that off I'm not sure but I have been loving those and when I have something to do I've been wearing them nonstop. that's like as high of a heel as I'll go these days when you work from home like I do and you don't wear heels very often Keeping it minimal is definitely key. If I have heels on like any higher than like three inches by like 10 minutes in, I'm like get them off my feet. So I've been loving those so much. I actually got those in a seven because they fit me better than the six and a half. So that's just kind of like a trial and error thing. So I think I remember reading that they ran small as well. So seven fits me perfectly and I'm normally a six and a half. My foot is so asleep. I have a tendency when I'm sitting on the floor to sit on my feet. I don't know why I do that, but my foot is so asleep, so hold on one second. Next up, I have a handbag favorite. This is my Teddy Blake Eliza Vitulo 12-inch bag. I've talked about this a bunch in the past. I even have a dedicated video on it because I love it that much. These are designer quality bags without the designer price tag, which if you guys know me, you know I love a good deal. They have a ton of Black Friday deals as well, so I'll link them down below so you guys can check out these bags. They really, really are good quality. They're made in Italy, 100% Italian leather, and you could tell they last a long time. Look at how huge this is. I emptied it out so you guys could see. I love that red and black interior. Let me show you my phone. You guys can see I have an obsession with red and black. This one comes with a little, you know, coin purse type of thing as well. I keep all of my receipts in here, which is super handy for me. This has a little red interior as well. I can fit all of my work items in here as well as my personal items. I fit my laptop, my notebook, my planner, my wallet, all my medicine for winter, anything I need fits in here and it's really, really good quality. These also come in a smaller size as well if this is too big for you. For some reason in the winter, I need like the biggest handbag, but in the summer, you cannot bother me with a handbag. So definitely check Teddy Blake out. I know you guys will love it. 
and I want to thank them for sponsoring this portion of the video. You guys know I would never recommend something to you. I didn't stand behind and I really do stand behind their handbags. They're amazing and the price is right. So check them out down below. Someone just started shoveling so I'm going to try to get through this fast. I got the Apple AirPods Pro and I've been loving them. So I lost my regular AirPods like three months ago and I just chalked it up to the fact that I was meant to get the AirPods Pro and they're great. It really does do awesome noise cancellation. The difference here is they come with these little like rubber parts so they come with a number of them so you can get the right fit for your ear. And the more snug it is the better so the noise cancellation actually works. It's been amazing. I put them in when I was in my kitchen originally like when I first bought them and the microwave was running and it completely canceled that noise. So don't wear these if you're walking around outside. You can turn off the noise cancellation though so you can wear it then but don't use noise cancellation if you're walking out around outside. That's just asking for trouble and to get snuck up on but I really like them. They are steep, they're expensive, they are like $250 but I really like them and I'm telling you right now I will not lose these because once you lose something that's super expensive you watch it with your every move so I have been loving these guys and I definitely recommend it if you have been in the market for AirPods and you enjoy noise cancellation. I've got a couple of hair things I want to share with you guys. This is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Restructuring Bond Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. This has been amazing for my blonde hair. If you've got blonde hair, your hair is damaged, you're bleaching it. There's nothing you could do. So using something with bond repair has been amazing for my hair. You guys know I used to always use the Sebastian Drench Shampoo and Conditioner. Still Still love that stuff but that's been making my hair greasy kind of fast so I switched over to this and I've been loving it I do feel like I can feel a difference in the strength of my hair as well it's gonna take you some time so when you start this give it some time but I've been loving it it's not cheap I will throw that out there right now not cheap at all but definitely worth it if you have damaged blonde hair like I do and it smells wonderful it's not a purple shampoo so don't be deceived by the color it's not like helping your blonde hair or keeping brassy tones away it's just strengthening your hair whatever hair color you have I don't use purple shampoo anymore because it just dries out my hair too much but I've really been loving this it's not one of those shampoos that are gonna get like super foamy in the shower either so like keep that in mind but really really amazing stuff here on that same note, I have been loving, and I've talked about this a million times, the Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoother. This is used after you get out of the shower. I never liked the number no. 3. I think that's what it's called, the stuff you use in the shower. My hair is too tangly for that. I could never, like, brush out my hair and leave it in there after shampooing. So this is an after-the-shower treatment, and again, I feel a huge difference in my hair. This is my second bottle, and I'm almost through with it, and I will never stop using this. So if you don't like the in-shower stuff, check this out. I've heard that people don't love the oil because it kind of, if you have blonde hair, can change the color of your hair because it's like a yellow oil. So this is my absolute absolute favorite and I know if you have blonde hair or even dark hair and your hair is damaged you'll love it check it out totally worth the price oh and you only need like a pea-sized amount if you have as long of hair as I do so really does last a long time couple more hair things I have the verb texture spray basically it's called C texture spray this is amazing my best friend and hairstylist Julia uses this line and it's been amazing I did use their shampoo and conditioner I liked them who inhaled that I liked the shampoo and conditioner but I didn't like it as much as I like the Alterna stuff so this though is the best volume spray I've ever used I know I just sprayed my hair and did nothing but you just need a tiny bit this is all I use after I curl my hair I don't even use like a hairspray anymore can you see the lift that just gave my hair and it doesn't leave that like feeling in your hair when you go in and try to like rub your fingers it doesn't become like sticky or like impossible to comb through it's like the perfect texture it's got a little bit of hold that's why it says light hold dry volume weightless grit that's exactly what it is you guys know what I'm talking about if you used a texture spray that's just kind of like you put your hair in there and you're like okay I mean your hand and you're like okay I can't move my hand you know what I mean this is really good stuff and worth worth the price as well and then finally 
holy grail, this has changed my life. I hate to say goodbye to my Batiste, but this is so much better. You guys, this is the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo Light Tones. A lot of times when you put in dry shampoo, it kind of builds up in your hair. For some reason, this does not. You need the tiniest, littlest bit, and it completely removes any oil residue from your hair. I've been loving this so much. When you spray it, it does leave a tiny, tiny bit of a white cast, but it kind of blends right in when you rub it in with your fingers. It's interesting because the cap has like a purple tint to it, but there's no purple tint when you spray it on your hair. So there must be some really, really light purple tint to it, but you don't get that on your hair at all. If you have blonde hair, this is absolutely worth the cost and it smells like heaven. Whenever I put this in, people are like, what? perfume are you wearing that smells so good you guys know if you've smelled moroccan oil what that scent is this is exactly it and i will never i shouldn't say never because i do youtube and i'm always repurchasing things but i'm pretty sure this is going to be my go-to from now on <laughs> wow this is going to be a long video okay let's get talking couple things that i have been really loving as far as subscription so i picked up the quip toothbrush from target absolutely amazing the brush head is very flat which is really good for me because i still have my molars molars we all have our molars i still have my wisdom teeth and i don't need to get them removed and those teeth can sometimes get cavities because they're hard to reach since this brush head is really flat you can really get back there it vibrates every 30 seconds four times so you can do top bottom top bottom you know what i mean so it kind of just helps you to make sure you're getting all areas and i love how gentle it is but it does all the work for you i've had sonicare in the past and this definitely is better in my opinion i can get farther back in my mouth and i love that they send you a new brush head and a battery you can set up how often you want it i think but as I get older, I've just realized things like this make it a lot easier for me to stay on top of things I need to do. So rather than me having to go out and buy a new brush head, having it sent to me is super, super helpful. This is not sponsored at all, by the way. I just genuinely love it and it's super affordable. So check out the Quip toothbrush. I think you guys will really love it if you love electronic toothbrush and you don't want to spend like an arm and a leg on the Sonicare. George is snoring right now, if you guys can hear that. I think you can hear that. <laughs> On that same note, I have the Billy Razor, same kind of situation. They send new razor heads. You can set up how often you want them, but I've been loving this. It has like the shaving cream already like loaded onto the top, but I still use shaving cream. I have very, very sensitive skin. Word of warning, these are very, very sharp razors. So when you first put on a new brush head, be careful because they are sharp. But having the razor head sent to you is a godsend and just makes my life a lot easier. It comes with a little attachment that you attach to your shower wall or whatever and it just hangs up on there. You can pick whatever color you want. So I've really been loving this and highly recommend checking that out as well. Again, not sponsored on that, but anything that makes my life easier is good by me. I've also been loving the Thrive Cosmetics Overnight Sensation Brightening Sleep Mask. It is winter in Chicago and I need all the hydration I can get. It's cold, it's windy, my heat is blasting. So having something that has hyaluronic acid that I can leave on my face overnight has been amazing. I've seen a visible difference on this with the texture of my skin, the hydration of my skin. And then whenever I have like something going on, if I have like a little red patch or something like that, that happens to me every once in a while. If I put this on two, three times a week, it is pretty much gone by the end of the week. So I've been loving it. It's huge. You just need a little pea size amount of this and it is absolutely amazing. You will see a huge difference. It has the most wonderful smell. It's almost like pepperminty when you put it on it's not a sleeping mask that's sticky so you don't get wake up and have anything like yucky on your blanket blanket your pillow or your blanket if you sleep with your blanket over your head i don't know how you sleep but it's amazing it absorbs super quickly and i absolutely love it it's huge it is 3.4 fluid ounces so it's a little pricier but it will last you a very long time so check this out if you need a little added hydration you don't even have to sleep with it overnight if you didn't want to you can put it on leave it on for like six hours during the day and you're good to go I love this. I will repurchase this again until the day I die. Okay, and finally, a couple of dog-related items. This is a little muffin tin. We have a rogue tennis ball. I don't I don't know where it went. I, I, one of George's friends may have taken it home. I don't know. But my mom 
brought this over when George was just a little puppy and it just kind of helps fine tune their motor skills. So what we would do is we'd put a treat in one of them and then he would have to take them all out with either his paw or his mouth and find the treat. So any kind of exercise for a dog's mind, like a tired dog is a good dog. You guys have heard that saying or something along that saying. It's really true. So I still bring this out for George and I'll put treats in there and just let him kind of play. He loves to kind of just play with the tennis balls. He's a fetch fiend, so he will play fetch all day long. But just a tip if you guys have a new puppy, Doing something like this is super affordable and will go a long way for helping them and then getting some exercise and some energy out. So I wanted to mention that. And then I also have this little dog denim jacket. So we bought the denim jacket without the patches from Canada Pooch. Canada Pooch is my apps. He sees it and he's excited. Canada Pooch is my favorite brand. If you have a French Bulldog, it fits really well because their bodies are like little tanks, little potatoes. So we bought all of these like punk metal patches and we had them sewn on just to kind of customize his little jacket and I think it's so cute. He loves this jacket. He, he wore it all fall long and every time we wore it he got compliments so I just wanted to give Canada Pooch a shout out if you guys have a dog and you want to buy some dog outfits. Really really good quality and lasts a long time. So that is it as far as my favorites you guys. Thank you for hanging out through this video. Again Please let me know below if you enjoy this kind of video and I'll keep doing it. Also, give me a follow on Instagram. I post like lots of favorites on there first. If there's something I'm loving, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram story first and then I'll eventually bring it into the video. But definitely check out Instagram if you wanna like keep up with me day to day. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.